hey 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 guys so i told you that this is the best channel for you in 2022 as you can see my costume is getting improved by the day i have a cap i have a tailor who looked at me and said ah guy you are doing absolutely fine okay but you need to just add a touch up to your costume and then i got this cap as a gift and i'm super super excited and i'm going to be wearing this cap even if i'm wearing a mother i will wear this cap okay so today i have a very simple task like i told you on the last video i said i was going to show you how to prep an apple Okay, remember they said an apple a day takes you away from the doctor. And then, it's also possible that an apple a day cannot just take you away from the doctor, can also take you back to the doctor. That is, if you don't know how to prep your apple. This video can possibly be the shortest video you've seen on this channel because I'm going to try to keep it very short and simple and then show you more value. Okay, remember, apples are not grown in Nigeria. The ones we do in just they're not enough to sustain us as a people it can't go around so we have to substitute the plant by importing apples so that we can have enough to go around but these apples are actually waxed to protect their integrity okay apples are easily oxidated which is why when you bite your apple and leave it for a few seconds it changes color okay so what they do is to use a wax okay a wax to protect this apple and before you eat the apple you need to first of all de-wax the apple for some people, they use the uh, vinegar, the apple vinegar, to de-wax the apple. For some, they use hot water, but all these things cannot be so sure. So what I would recommend you do before you eat an apple is to properly dry your apple. You could get a napkin before you wash your apple. Find a way to dry it properly. And then you use a sharp object. You could come close, okay? Come, let me show them something. Get a sharp object and then you de-wax your apple. Can you see that? Can you see that? This looks like a candle wax. This is a very edible candle wax, but actually it's not really so healthy. And I'm sure you're wondering, okay, why don't these guys tell us to do all of these things? Yeah, these things are there for you to know if you ask questions, by the way. Okay, you do all of this to properly clean up your apple. Remember, you need to know how to prep your food. Don't just buy food and start eating them. If you can, always ask questions before you eat your food so before i eat my apple i have to make sure even the green one or the red one you have to take out this time to carefully wax them okay now if i'm done doing this thing to this apple and leave it for two minutes i mean just two minutes it will change color and this apple will get bad before the end of today so before you eat your apple make sure you de-wax them and when you de-wax do not leave them to avoid oxidation oxidation is reaction to light and air so i'm going to just do this for the next few seconds and then when i'm done can you see that can you see that this is apple wax i didn't scrape this apple this is the same apple you know the same apple you buy from the market even the green ones also have wax on them that is why they look so shiny and then you think they are fresh it is not about the freshness about the wax that they use to make the apple shine okay so once i'm done with this all i need to do is to wash this apple on the top and then i can eat so let me quickly wash this apple and then take this one so i can stay away from the doctor okay guys so get me on this let me just wash my apple oh god i can't wait it's been a while man i think the last apple i had was yesterday so i need this one too i'm also going to show you later in the week a picture of what a healthy fridge should look like so at this point i can now comfortably Oh my god this is so fresh okay so guys before you eat your apple don't be in a hurry to bite it you can use your razor blade or a sharp knife to properly de wax your apple before you watch them and eat so this is my two cents i always want us to stay healthy that is the essence of this channel i lost my father to high blood pressure and since then i am so sad i couldn't do much for him and i want you to to protect your children protect your parents teach them what they need to know our food is our first line of defense and if there's anything we should take serious it is the food we eat thank you so much for coming to this channel this week see you again this sunday i'll be cooking a very delicious meal like i promised with my guest this guest is a handsome guy he's an he's an efficient health coach he has a lot to share with us on this channel and i am sure you will keep finding value thank you so much and have a great evening bye